So, folks, we're here with the one and only Neil Hogue. Neil, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. We appreciate you. Man. Absolutely. Thanks for coming by, TC. Absolutely. And you guys have got some really cool new stuff with your new models here. Is this, I'm, I don't know if I've been pronouncing it right, the Misto? Misto. Misto. Okay. I wanted to make sure because yep, yep. sometimes there's weird pronunciations. We've also got some new HKs right here, some autos. All right. So let's go over these, talk about the design, and uh, talk about these mo knife models here. Yeah, we'll do. So we're just expanding the Hogue Knives line and the HK line, uh, all U.S. made, U.S. Uh, materials, lifetime warranty, lifetime sharpening, all the Hogue Knives, all the HK knives, all the SIG knives. Uh, we try to listen to customers' feedback, and they've been kind of really hitting us up for a titanium frame and a new design. So here we go. You know, that's the titanium Misto. It's our able lock mechanism, real smooth action, real easy in and out. You can use the thumb studs if you want to. We've got two blade shapes going on here. These two models are collector series. Yep. These available retail and dealer direct only. We really keep these these uh, premium materials, um, you know, more higher end and more exclusive. Right. So uh, you guys have always been great supporting us. We try to support you guys back. Listen to our customers. Absolutely. So. Um, and yeah. one of the things that I love about this, and a lot of people don't realize, so these handles are all titanium. Right. And then to actually mill that kind of design out of it, it takes a lot of work and a lot of precision and a lot of tooling, too. A lot of people don't understand, and that's kind of where my background comes in. I worked in a, a fabrication shop, a machine shop, for a long time. And when you talk about milling out titanium, you're talking about a lot of expense, especially in tooling, because if you, if you have a... Uh, a dull cutter, you're gonna have to swap that out, and that that's not cheap. Oh no, for sure. You know, so we actually come from a tool making background. I was a tool maker for for many years with our company. Got off from the CNC machining side. Uh, actually made a lot of parts. Got job shopping in titanium. Yeah. So I got really good at it. It's actually a great material if you do it right. It's it's not that bad, but it takes a lot of time. Exactly. You can't rush it. Exactly. So this one's got kind of a neat design to it. Uh, we will likely have this in our catalog and some different versions, you know, drop the price point down a little bit more. But these are, um, I think these are region between uh, $329.95 and $349.95 retail. And the action just came out perfect on these. Now these do have a, a stainless steel liner. That's really to control the mechanism inside here and hold the button in place in the springs. Uh, we make everything in house. I mean, we start from raw bar stock and machine the scales. Uh, we start from the raw sheet on the, this is the, our magnet cut steel. Start from the raw sheet, yes. water jet, CNC machine, bevel grind, everything's done in house except for heat treat. It's the only time it goes out. So heat treat's perfect. Uh, we do the hand sharpen and hone in house. You can see the titanium anodized backspacers and thumb studs. I tell you what, you guys make an incredible product and one that the consumer can really depend on. They're all very well built, hard use products that uh, you know is going to work and going to last a lifetime. Yeah. We try really hard to give, give the consumer, you know, great quality at a competitive price and you get that warranty and everything. And we always stand behind our products. Yeah. Now, these autos, these things absolutely hit. This was my first time having this one in hand <laughs> and this thing is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of kick to it. You gotta hold on to it. So this is our first Able Lock automatic knife. We got our G10 scales and we call this our chroma cut material. So you can see there's a color layer in here. This one's red, HK red, right? Yep. So we cut through and you can get the different designs showing through. So you'll see more of this material coming out on this line particularly. It's been a little too long since we've launched a new HK knife model. Uh, we've got this new one that just launched, and uh, you'll see a few more in the next next coming months. Absolutely. Now, what's the price point on these going to be? Uh, you know, I don't have that off the top of my head. <laughs> That's okay. I apologize so, for that. Um, here's one thing, and I, I, I just noticed this. So this kind of uh, fish scale scallop right here mm -hmm. on the pocket clip. That's a really cool design feature that uh, I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do. and. I feel like what's that, what that's going to do is allow you to get a better grip on it when you go to pull it out of your pocket. That's right. It's not going to slip right there. It's going to actually give you a place to dig into. That's right. And make it easier to pull out of the pocket. That's, that's fantastic. Right. Yeah, that actually, so that idea kind of came about from Kyle Lamb, Sergeant Major Kyle Lamb. We've done a little bit of work with him. And, uh, yeah, he had a little different way of doing it, and we kind of came up with, um, you know, louvers. Yeah. Kind of like louvers on right. the hood and exactly. stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, he goes in your pocket. 
And you always got to grip it to get it out of your pocket. And the harder you grip it, the harder you grip in your pocket. So this helps give you a little traction to be able to pull it out of your pocket without having to pinch so hard. Exactly. So yeah, that was a really neat design. Uh, Jim uh, Jim Bruins, president and CEO of Hogue Knives, he came up with do, actually doing the louvers. That is super cool. Now, when will we be able, when will we be able to see these hitting the market? Hit these the are market. available now. Available now. Yep. That's yep. awesome. Yep, this model just launched yesterday. Fantastic. It just launched like three days ago. That is super cool. Available in stock. Go to your local dealer for, uh, you know, the automatic versions. Local dealers can also carry the, the Misto, or those can be ordered directly as well. Now, how soon are we going to be able to see maybe some uh, other styles in the Misto there? We'll see. I would say this year, though. Nice. That is awesome. Neil, thank you so much, man. Thank Appreciate you, TC. It. Thanks for coming by. Three, two, one. So, folks, we're here at the Wii and Civivi booth with the one and only oh. Ben Peterson. How you doing, DC? Doing great, man. Good. And uh, I've been really excited about this. You originally showed me this um, back at Blade Show last year. Yeah. Um, and it had a different name. It was called the Cedar. The Cedar. Yep. I was actually going to be give a little bit more of a jab there, but uh, it didn't painful. know how that we, but, but this is the Cindy. So called full the Cindy. Cindy. Yep. Um, and this is a really cool knife. Thank you. Tell us about like the inspiration behind this and what you're trying to accomplish with this design. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm a guy with like a two inch cut on my thumb from a slip joint. So I like the idea of slip joints, but the execution, I'm like, how do you turn a traditional knife into a locking folder? And so I took a Barlow handle, sort of your traditional slip joint Barlow handle. And I said, let's take that. Let's put a spay, bit, spay blade on it and let's turn it into a knife that opens with the flipper, locks up with a liner lock, deep carry pocket clip, and is just kind of like ready to EDC in the way I like to EDC. Not necessarily a tr true traditional, but one that has that traditional feeling. The other thing I wanted to do with it is we put tweezers. So these are nice little tweezers. You can get your arm hairs. Let me, let me try that real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. That was good. Uh, and then we put a toothpick on it too. Um, and this is more of like a, almost like a splinter puller toothpick. Yeah. So like you could either leave it sharp or if you're like, actually Ben, that will ruin my teeth. Just take it and grind it down. Uh, get it on a sidewalk or take your grinding, your uh, sharpening stone and just cut that down a little bit. But the idea was like, Take this idea of Swiss Army knives, like they've got the toothpick and tweezers, a traditional that feels and looks like this, and then modernize it in a way that I'm like, cool, you got two extra tools, and it's not a slip joint. Right. So that was kind of where my head was at with the whole thing. This was my original idea. The with, colorway on that yeah, is gorgeous. The idea, I was talking to my neighbor, he's a graphic designer, I was like, Trent, what colors should I do in this knife? And he's like, well, what if you did it? like an old Coleman stove, you know, like the white gas yes. Coleman stoves, like your dad's like cooking pancakes. I was like, let's take that colorway and do that, that nice maroon on kind of that forest OD green sort of style. So it's like, almost looks a little tactical here. And then you turn it and you're like, actually looks like scout camp. Yep. You know, and that's kind of what I wanted in this thing is like this traditional heritage feeling to it. Um, so we, we did it in a micarta with a drop point. When we announced it, people were like, I'd buy that if it had a drop point. And I'm like, all right, put your money where your mouth is, buy it now. Right. But uh, just this idea, and then, and then we did the wood version too, wanting to kind of just bring in that micarta and, and uh, wood material as well. So gooey borsha wood on that yes. one. Yes. Um, and even the wood backspacer right there as yeah. well. Yeah, and that was one thing, like, I wanted to have a little fun with those backspacers. Uh, this one's obviously just a micarta one, but we had the G10 there, so two-tone and then the wood on that. And there's actually a lanyard loop yep. there in the back too. Uh, kind of hard to see, but it's an extra part right there in that kind of barrel spacer. And a good but, placement for the lanyard loop. That yeah. way the lanyard's not in the way. There's so many yep. knives out there that you want a lanyard on, but then you put it on there and it's like, oh, well now I can't really Now it is knife. a huge problem, and yeah. It's, and it's in the way. Absolutely. So, um, that, I love that placement. It just, it works really well. Thank so. you. And then on the G10 version, it's kind of a weird little thing, but uh, I spent three years in the Pacific Northwest working for CRKT, and while I was there, I learned about cedar shakes and cedar sh cedar plank salmon. And when you split a cedar plank, you get this beautiful texture, this grain without any knots or anything like that in it, and it's just a wonderful texture. Yeah. And I was like, what if you put that on a knife handle? So they've done this micro milling on there, 
that is just, it feels nice, it's textured, it's like, ah, I like that. So that's the, the cedar shake uh, handle there. And that's where the name, the original name came from. What happened is there were trademark issues with the name Cedar, and they're like, Savivi was like, hey, you gotta find a new name for this. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, this is like four years of working on this thing. And I was like, just gonna send and it. And at that point, it's like a child. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. I don't know if you've ever seen those snowmobile videos of like Larry the Enticer. He's like, you silly, I'm just gonna send it. And I'm like, Sandy, let's just get this out into the world. And so, and I think sometimes that's, that's how these projects go where you're like, I want it to be this, but there are external factors and you just have to say, I will take it and we'll run with it however we can and get it done. So yeah. kind of this idea of sending life. And, I, and that's what I wanted was a knife that you could literally take to college campus. You could take it to work. like take it hiking, whatever, it's gonna send life with you. Yeah. Um, and it's not gonna be obtrusive or like dangerous looking. It's a very, very EDC friendly yeah, knife. Absolutely. I love it, dude. That Thanks, is man. super cool. Thank man, you. Thank you so much. Appreciate Always you, TC. A pleasure. Thanks for watching, guys. What's up, guys? I'm here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works doing a video. We're at SHOT Show 2024. Good stuff. Let's show you guys some knives. Okay, so you guys have seen these ones right here, right? But let's go over some of the basic ones and then we'll kind of get into these coming soons. Ooh, don't look at it yet. No. <laughs> cool one that we're looking at right here. This one's with Tashi Barucha. Look how clean this is. You guys notice? No pivot. Integral, right? It's actually, so the fascinating thing about this guy, this is dovetailed. So this thing right here, that's it's probably super hard to see on the camera, but it's awesome in person. It, it, that scale just slides right in there. So clean super clean cut and just honestly like the name says it's the one and only and that's designed by tashi barucha 20 cv blade and this is a fat carbon that has that jungle wear fat carbon on there very awesome knife another one super different for us generally you guys know that we use a lot of our steels are the 20 cv but if you look at this hyperactive some clean grinds going on got titanium right here with some really cool distressed look with a nice little spice titanium, uh, that flame tie ins there, inlay. Same deal on the back, titanium inlay with that kind of distressed bronze look going on there. Right. All right, right into, the, right into the new stuff. We got the banter, we love the banter. We know the banter. Let's get him a little warning blade. Look at that blade. Super aggressive, awesome new blade for this. And something that's different too with this one, there's actually more contouring in these handles from the original banter. So it's gonna fit a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit more comfy, a little less boxy. Okay, Warren, banter, Warren Cliff. Now we'll go right to the Cubit. Cubit, originally a Civivi design. We kind of spiced it up a bit with some super nice, thicker titanium handles. They are milled out on the inside, so you kind of limit that weight. Milled pocket clip and then 20 CV blade, and then you got the button lock, and there is no bottle opener or that cutout there anymore. And then I don't Ooh. know if you can hear that thunk. Okay, but, but a little over right there, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, the sound is everything, guys. Super good fidget factor for this button lock. We love, we love the quibbit. New one, we got the Harpen with Michael Birch. So the Michael Birch design, got 20 CV blade, nice little stout blade. Great for like, I mean, especially if you like the smaller knives. And then a very unique handle and uh, kind of like design going on here, kind of like cross hatch, a little fencing happening. I don't know what else I would call that. But milled, milled pocket clip, frame lock, you do have your, uh, Stainless steel insert in there like always. Yeah, super clean lines. We love this design that we're doing with uh, Michael Birch. <clears throat> Another one that we've done is the Navo. We've seen the Navo. The difference with this one is we got this aluminum foil carbon fiber. Look how pretty that is. Like so, a topo design. Exactly, it, it kind of spices up the knife, gives it that nice clean look for almost like that gentleman carry, if you will. Oh, yeah, that was Killing, nice, awesome uh, milled pocket clip that is reversible. So if you did want to carry left hand, you totally can. Now, another one, 
This is for all you guys that won that big nitro. This is the Nitro OG. <laughs> blade is size of my palm. So we're looking at a four inch blade. This is actually designed off of the original custom from Peter Carey. So we kept all the same lines, all the same stuff from the Nitro Mini. We just kind of pulled over the, the OG version. So still that subframe lock, flipper tab, thumb stud, milled pocket clip, and you got your lanyard hole on the back. And some super clean, subtle milling right here on that backspacer. Kind of has that distressed look like the rest of the knife does as well. Boom. And just a great belly to be cutting with. All right, let's hop Where right now? over to the Wii. Nope, I said Wii. <laughs> Savivi. <laughs> you guys are king of always having new knives. We have to. I don't know how you keep up with it. We just got to surprise y'all. <laughs> okay, seen the Sendy. Ben has the Sendy now, so we can blame we, Ben. We just did that. <laughs> Okay, Stormhouse, a super clean one that we'll be seeing here pretty soon. If you haven't already, deep carry pocket clip, a really unique design on this aluminum scale with an awesome clean flat grind right here on that Nitro V blade. That's cool. And then we got the new, the, I always mess it up. I know Seth's gonna get mad at me. It's the Chevalier or the Chevalier. <laughs> what do you say? I, well, I'll go with old Chevy Cavalier. <laughs> <laughs> Chevy Cavalier. I like that. But yeah, we're doing aluminum scales on that one. And then we have the button lock on the Paraxis, also with aluminum scales. Now, the new new. Oh. This is a new one with uh, Rafael Brzezinski. Look at that Tonto. Just a clean, nice upswept kind of Tonto, kind of keeping the Quaking vibes. Obviously, look at the names called the Quake with a Q. Look at the flipper tab. This is very similar to that flipper tab you see on the Sandy. Oh, Deep carry pocket clip and just a snappy little tonso blade. Awesome G10 design on there. Oh yeah. And then we got this guy with the various. This is actually designed by Alan Elishowitz. Okay, so we do have a trainer version. Now these G10 things are will be interchangeable. So, say you want to do more tactical things, okay, perfect. Put your ring on there, this will be your self-defense weapon. Now, you want to go camping, perfect. Flip it over, send this one right here. You have your G10 insert that will go right in. And now you have your like awesome camping knife, little backpacking knife to shove on your backpack if you need, stuff like that. That's an awesome offering from uh, <clears throat> Alan Elishowitz. And this is going to be in D2 steel. Moving right along, this one's an in-house design from Savivi, the Chiro. Look at that little, that, what, it's like a drop point Someone's Persian like, blade. It's like a not Batman would carry. Exactly. <laughs> Very awesome, sweet lines, but one of the best things I've, I've kind of dug about this, you still get a nice, comfortable grip, even though you do have some very, very uh, drastic lines and very, like, mean looking lines. It's still pretty comfy in the hand. Is that one reverse flickable? Reverse flick. Let's try it. Let's try it. Ready, set, uh, go. We did it. You got the flipper, and then you got yeah, you got your thumb hole. Deep carry pocket clip with those inset screws. So yeah, awesome, fun, mean looking little little knife. So that's what we got coming soon. You guys want to check out the booth? Yeah. Let's, let's check out the booth. I mean. So we got Senka too. So Senka. We got one knife that we have with Senka. So let's walk over there. Obviously we got. Look, I mean, guys, look at our setup. How sick is that? I got a TV here, office space, and we got our. Yeah, got, nobody ever shows off the booth. So. No, we don't. We got to see. We got to see the booth. Huge space. <laughs> One of the new products from Sencut, well, the Arc Blast. A little bit smaller knife, but got some awesome contouring on here. Button lock, flipper tab, and thumb stud. So all the goodies. I messed up that thumb stud. There we go. Deep carry pocket clip on there as well. Aluminum handles and that clean blue color. And that this will be rocking a 9CR blade. Thank you. Is that everything we got? That's all. <laughs> all right, we're here at Riot Knives and we're with Andrew. And we've got some really cool things coming out over here, right? We got yes. the Chevron. Yeah, the, the Chevrons. And we got two different options. We got one uh, that you can flick open, do a reverse flick or with a hole, and then you've got the thumb stud. I really like both of those. They got really great action in them. 
Oh, yeah. Titanium? Yes, sir. And then carbon fiber with titanium? Yes, sir. Now, these will be coming out before Blade Show, right? Before Blade Show. So maybe maybe April? Yes, sir. Those are really cool. Now, this ain't it. There's more, right? There's more. There's more. What else we got? We So right here, this one's called the what? The PLXE. And this one's a little interesting. It's a pivot lock, right? Yes, you sir. You squeeze both sides right there, and it's got a, uh, a lock for it as that well. So it comes right there. You push the lock in. And it won't come down on you. Now, who's the designer on this one? Do you know? These are in-house. In-house design. Wow, and we've got we got several different options here. Which one's your favorite? I like this one. That is a good one. Now, the one I'm really excited about over here is very interesting. We got the you've killed it with the gravity knives. Everybody loves the gravity knives. Yes. So, how do you make it more interesting? You better we have the EXOU for utility. Oh man, and that was it's a box cutter. There's a box cutter. That uses blades you can actually the buy. Up, <laughs> that you can actually buy. And all you have to do is replace. I think everybody's gonna love that one right there. And you've got so many different colors that there's no reason for somebody to not find one they don't like. Yes, sir. And when can we see those? By the plate shows. By the plate Electra. show. I think those are gonna be a huge hit. Yes, sir. Andrew, thank you so much for right. your time. All right, guys, we're here with Rodney and Dirk with Midgards, and we're going to be bringing this to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So tell us what we got here. What, what are some of the things we're looking at? Well, we got a lot of new models out. Um, we're going to go over some that, that are going to be available uh, really soon at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, we've got our uh, Beowulf model. This is the full-size Beowulf. We've done limited drops of both of these, but these will be available very soon at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, um, What's the, what's the action on that one look like? Action is good. It comes with your European safety pin, which in America we probably won't be seeing too much. Wow. Now these are two, considered two-hand deployment knives because they are German legal knives. So we do have some models uh, that are going to be made for the U.S. market. I'm guessing that's just a smaller version of it? Yep. Mini version. Is this the coin knife? Oh, now this is different. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's uh, titanium here, and here's uh, M390 blade steel. Steel. Blade, yeah. blade steel. My English is not so good. <laughs> and we have your yeah, bottle opener, and here's this sharp and sharp. So, and you have. Um, ah, how about that? Yeah. So it's just, uh, it looks just like a coin. Yeah. It's a coin, it's a coin, it's a knife coin, and uh, it's good protection. We is have, that a, a, a lanyard, a lanyard hold right there on we top? Have here, and uh, and color lasering here. Oh, Those are really cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, our next model is going to be our little berserker. Uh, we did do a big berserker, but we will be sending the little berserker directly to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, this is one of our first American designs, so it's single deployment. Great action, great jumping, uh, CPM D2 steel. Can't beat it. This is my everyday carry. This is what I carry oh, every nice. day. The LV knife is a new product. Um, we have a titanium clip and titanium grips. The steel is CPMT2 and uh, it's a slicer. Yeah, It's two hands. Oh, well, oh, oh, yeah. well, also. Or not. So, and I, love, oh, I love the pocket clip on the back of that one. That's yeah. very, very sturdy. That's, that's crazy. Yeah? yeah. It almost looks like he's screaming. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Nori Nano X. Nori Nano. The, the Nori Nano Mini X for self-defense or EDC. We have here titanium grips, titanium holder, and this, uh, and the clip. And you have here uh, a safety pin. So ah. you can hear. So for EDC or so for self-defense. So, okay. That's wild. That is cool, yeah. We have two versions. Uh, this is the sheep, sheep, cheaper version. The G, less expensive G10. <laughs> G10, and uh, and it's the same. We here plus G10, and this is the titanium. We have here the 
De, uh, de baby Valhalla. My goodness. Special block. And uh, the knife come from Fox in Italy. Now how's this thing open? Yes. So. What in the world? Yes. <laughs> you have a double lock here and here. You push and the finger here. And so. How did you come up with this design? The design, yes. Yeah. Well, he uh, he thinks of a whole lot of different things. He's got a lot, <laughs> a lot of strange designs. Here, this is the Raven from Odin. All knives by Midgard's Messer have name from Nordic mythology. Okay. Okay. And this is the the Munin, and this is the Hugin. This is the the Raven from from Odin. Perfect in the hand. So. This is the, uh, the folder with the grenade lock. You go on the finger here, push out, hold, and bring the knife. <laughs> it's a grenade lock. It's the same uh, size with, with, the, with, the, with the fixed blade. It's the Kattegat knife. It's a folder. It's a, it's a strong back lock, really strong back lock. You have here, and then oh, 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 snap, oh. okay? It's a here, titanium and the clip, titanium. And here's um, uh, carbon fiber, carbon. fiber. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the, the fixed blade. Wow, I love it. Is that the really marbled carbon fiber in that one? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's a carbon really fiber knife. and flight alumi aluminum, aircraft aluminum. Getting excited now. <laughs> this is uh, the Odin's toothpick. Now that is a pocket sword. Yes, a, a come uh, end of the year. It's a new product and uh, automatic clip here for backpacks outside on the... Now show the me how to put that one in your pocket. Yes, <laughs> in the pocket. Uh, and we have here a screw, a, a big liner lock. That the is blade is seven millimeter thick. Thick? Thick. thick. Yep. thick. And uh, the steel is CPMT2. You have a big folder. Wow. <laughs> yes. That's absolutely That's two hands, two hands. ridiculously awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this this is uh, the slide near. It's the logo knife. Ah, Midgard's yes. That's knife. Two, two, two knives is the logo here. And this is the folder, so this is the Valdi's knife. It's a knife from the Grace mythology, from the Grace, uh, from the Spa Spartan, from the Spartano, uh, the Spartans. What is the name in English? Spartans? Spartans. Spartans, Spartans. Spartans. yes. You have here the, the hand here. You have uh, the grip, so, and you can push and we have the Tundra backup. It's a knife for the backpacks. Yes, it's a backup knife. A little, little booby, booby shape. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you have uh, the blade is a, it's a Bowie, so a modern Bowie. Yeah, so you have here the finger ring and can saw or a saw for the, for the shape or the what, whatever. So, and then this is the, the same tunra. This is not the tunra backup, it's the little tunra. That's the little tunra, the tiny tunra. It's the small version of the knife. We have um, a folder. This is the folding <laughs> knife for the tunra series. And the, the safety pin here. And, and clip. It's a big knife. Yeah? Wow. Uh, this is the bear wolf. We have uh, designs by Berger. The bear wolf um, is stock out in Berger. We we produce self. Yeah. The yeah. Boker sold out, sold completely out of those. So. We design out for Berger. Yeah. <laughs> Fixed blade. 3D mill, complete. 3D mill by Fox in Italy. It's a good quality. Uh, quality. Uh, the steel is D2. So that is that is a chunker right there. Yeah, it's really cool. We have two versions. This is the Tanto and this is the Drop Point.
the knives is kind of new have no name. <laughs> yeah, a, those are prototypes. Yeah, yeah so the prototypes here. Yeah. And we have for the PMP Midgard Corporation knives. We have a big folder here. Come end of the year. That's pretty big. Wow. <laughs> Love the sound. <laughs> That's wow. good, huh? That's good. Yeah. And we have uh, three different fixed blades. This is the smallest. This is the middle and this is the biggest. This <laughs> The smallest. As, uh, we have here the so yeah, this is yeah. a prototype. It's a prototype coming soon this year. This is the designer from this. Jörg. And this is the uh, what the name the the, the, the the hammer for the car. Uh, the the the, the, um, ah, the rescue axe. Rescue axe. Yes. Yes. Ah. Here the saw for the window, ah, and the glass breaker here. You ma make a hole in the window, and and the saw uh, is for the for the window in the car. You can plastic in the glass. Give you all a little little elbow bump here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it, it's amazing. I can't wait to get this stuff in. And uh, great job on all the designs. Thank you. See ya.